By now, you must have a good idea that the most fundamental element of Islamic banking and finance is the avoidance of interest. The avoidance of interest is the cornerstone of Islamic banking. In pre-Islamic Arabia, a number of modes of financial transaction were in use that did not involve riba or interest. Their use continued both during the life of the Prophet and afterwards. Later on, the Fuqaha or the Islamic jurists permitted modified versions of the old permissible practices or newly suggested modes that they deemed acceptable meaning free from riba. In this session, you will learn about the modes of finance that are debt-based, but according to the Islamic scholars, they are free from riba. They are murabaha, bay bithamil ajil, ijara, and ijara wal iktina. Money earned from these modes of Islamic financing or debt-based contracts must come from a tangible asset that one owns and thus has the right to sell. The main idea is that money cannot be made from money as it is only a medium of exchange.